This semiconductor stock is all set to grow rapidly in the coming years. The U.S. stock market has demonstrated remarkable resilience and growth over the past decade, despite multiple economic challenges and geopolitical pressures. This environment has helped pave the way for high-growth companies such as NVIDIA, Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, Meta Platforms, and Microsoft to reach the coveted trillion-dollar market capitalization. These companies have demonstrated powerful and scalable business models, visionary management, and rapid organic and inorganic market expansion. Plus, these companies have quickly adopted technologies such as data analytics, artificial intelligence, AI, and cloud computing. Only a few other companies share similar characteristics and may be next in line to cross the trillion-dollar market capitalization mark by 2030. Here's why Broadcom, AVGO 0.33%, fits the bill and may soon join the trillion-dollar club. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. AI Catalyst the increasing demand for accelerated computing infrastructure and AI-driven data centers has been the major growth catalyst for Broadcom, especially for the networking business in the past couple of years. In fiscal 2024's first quarter, ended February 4, Broadcom's AI revenue quadrupled year over year to $2.3 billion, offsetting the cyclical slowdown in other businesses. The company now expects AI-related revenue to account for almost 35% of its fiscal 2024 semiconductor revenue at $10 billion, up from its previous estimate of $8 billion. This upward revision can be mainly attributed to the solid demand for its custom AI chips and networking solutions such as Tomahawk 5 800G switches, Ethernet, digital signal processing, DSP platforms, and optical components by large-scale enterprises deploying AI data centers and hyperscale customers. Besides catering to enterprise AI demand, Broadcom's networking solutions are also used extensively in consumer-facing AI applications. In its fiscal Q1 2024 earnings call, management highlighted the strong demand for the company's custom AI chips at two hyperscalers. Although the company has not disclosed the names of these clients, Many analysts have zeroed in on Alphabet and Meta platforms. Since these clients own vast amounts of data and have a very large subscriber base, they stand to benefit dramatically from the use of custom AI chips in targeted areas such as search, SEO, and digital marketing. Since Broadcom seems to have cultivated deep, strategic, and multi-year relationships with these hyperscalers, it is well positioned to develop custom AI chips catering to their specific needs. Broadcom has a proven track record of designing and manufacturing high-performance and energy-efficient custom AI chips, as well as multiple AI-optimized networking components capable of handling complex workloads for foundational models and large language applications. Coupled with the company's long-term relationships with its clients and a supporting software ecosystem, Broadcom is poised to thwart competition from new players in the custom silicon space. VMware Acquisition Tailwinds The acquisition of semiconductor and infrastructure software solutions player VMware is also proving to be a major growth catalyst for Broadcom. In the first quarter, the company's infrastructure software revenue was up 153% year-over-year to $4.6 billion, with VMware contributing almost $2.1 billion during the 10.5 weeks of the quarter, as the acquisition was completed in November 2023. Consolidated software bookings grew nearly three times year-over-year year to $1.8 billion in the first quarter and are expected to reach $3 billion in the second quarter. Broadcom expects revenue from the VMware portfolio to grow sequentially by a double-digit percentage every quarter throughout fiscal 2024. Broadcom's VMware strategy mainly involves upselling VMware Cloud Foundation VCF, to existing customers, especially those already running compute workloads with vSphere virtualization tools. 
VCF is a complete software stack which includes computing, storage, and networking capabilities and acts as an alternative and complement to the public cloud platforms for the customer's on-premise data centers. The company is focusing on developing an improved VCF stack to sell to its largest 2,000 strategic customers, many of whom need a hybrid cloud solution, mix of private and public cloud infrastructure, for their on-premise distributed data centers. Broadcom has also partnered with NVIDIA to form VMware Private AI Foundation, which enables VCF to run GPUs. This initiative is helping further drive demand for VCF. The global virtualization software market is expected to grow at a compound annual rate of 22.3% from $40 billion in 2023 to $300 billion in 2033. Broadcom seems well poised to capitalize on this opportunity thanks to the synergies between its software offerings and acquired VMware portfolio. The company expects its overall software revenue to be $20 billion in fiscal 2024, which will end OK. Diversified Client Base Broadcom's hardware and software offerings are used in multiple end markets including smartphones, telecommunications, and a variety of industrial applications. The diversified client base has made the overall business resilient since fluctuations in a few end markets can be partly offset by others. Valuation Broadcom shares are currently trading at a price-to-sales PS ratio of 16.6, .6, significantly higher than their five-year average of 9.3. However, considering the company's ability to capitalize on the growing demand for accelerated computing and data center infrastructure across industries, this high valuation seems justified. The company is poised to generate revenue of $50.2 billion in fiscal 2024. Assuming its PS ratio remains constant, Due to AI tailwinds, the company will have to grow its revenue to about $61 billion to support a $1 trillion market capitalization. This seems to be a very achievable target since analysts are projecting Broadcom's revenue to grow to $62.8 billion by fiscal 2026. Hence, it makes sense for long-term retail investors to consider buying at least a small stake in this AI-powered stock. Give us a like if you like our video. Subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.